Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe. If you guys have a Hyundai Santa Fe and your temperature gauge, coolant temperature gauge on the dash doesn't work, doesn't show anything guys or it's stuck in one position, stay with us, we'll explain the top three reasons that can cause that guys. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll cover everything from start to finish. The most common ones that usually we see here at the shop. Now we don't need to remove your engine, we simply have it out due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars and with the engine being out we can guys show you with every little bit where every little bit of sensor is located bolt nut and show you how to do things and fix your Hyundai Santa Fe on your own so let's explain how to uh, how to fix that problem now so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show you how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this right here guys is an engine 2.4 GDI out of a 2013 Hyundai uh, but it's been used all the way until 2016-17 so uh, now before we start I want to share something with you many of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below which computer we use for diagnostics what we recommend this is the one right here guys it works on almost any car you can think of and I will put the link in the description of the video below if you want to see where we got it from and you want to find out more about it check it out okay and Hyundai is right here it's an all system scanner so if your coolant temperature gauge doesn't work guys okay what can actually cause that uh, now the number one thing that you can notice guys okay will be uh, problems with the coolant temperature sensor and we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace the sensor because if you do it the wrong way you can severely hurt yourself and if you don't do one step well, after you replace the sensor you can severely overheat your engine and you can end up needing a new engine so this is guys the sensor itself what to look for guys make sure that the wiring harness is not broken it's not eaten by mice or anything like that number two make sure it's plugged all the way in then okay disconnect it and inspect to make sure okay that inside you don't have guys okay any oil oxidation okay corrosion anything like that because it's very close to the valve cover and if it start dripping it can actually guys cause that as well so check the wiring harness check that it's plugged in if that doesn't fix the problem guys most likely you have a bad sensor and if you want to see how to test the sensor really easy guys we have a special video that explains that and it will be published on our main channel how to repair guys check it out how to test coolant temperature sensor on a Hyundai and it will explain guys how to do that uh, now those are the top three things that we see okay but the most common one is the coolant temperature sensor okay not working now in some cases it could be problem with the gauges with the instrument cluster but we personally never had that problem okay so always most of the times we have to replace the sensor when it quits working so those are the most common things guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time